What's going on guys, my name is Brendan Myers. This is the 30 for 30 workout training series and let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, depression be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. All right, so here we go, 30 for 30, free training series here on YouTube. Today we have push, shoulders, chest, triceps, the whole shebang. Now, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when we post these new videos. If it's not posted by that time, it's a rest or recovery day. Now, these are body weight training only workouts. So today we're gonna be in the house, and then as quarantine lifts, whether you're in the United States or internationally, we're gonna be moving to the parks a little bit more. We do get out there sometimes, but it's snowing, so what can we do? Now, before we get started, I'm gonna into a few tips you could be following for this workout and future workouts. Let's get started. All right, quick tip number one. Your intensity of training will be the leading indicator towards future strength and power gains. Don't output at 80%, we need 100. Number two, with the exercises we use, changing hand positioning, raising your feet onto a platform, or even decreasing range of motion can all have an effect on your muscle development. Stay focused on technique. Number three, if you want to experience a pump by consuming something naturally, try beet juice. That stuff works wonders. Number four, rest periods today will be 60 to 90 seconds, except for as many reps as possible sets. Those will be at least 150 seconds. Number five, I take creatine HCL from Create You to increase power output for longer durations. Link is always in the description. And last but not least, number six, keep your chin suspended in all movements. We want to keep your spine as straight as possible. All right, here we go. We're starting off with 12 explosive platform push-ups. So platform could be a table, it could be a chair, it could be your couch. The higher you are up, the more it's actually gonna be targeting your shoulders. So you wanna find something that's about, I would say, below your knee, okay? So we're gonna be our hands just outside of shoulder width apart, okay? Your feet are going to be on the couch. I do suggest widening them out a little bit more just so you have a little more stabilization with those feet and everything encompassing. So your, your abs, now watch very, very closely. You're gonna notice how I'm not like here and I'm doing push-ups, but I'm going to squeeze and push away from the ground and squeeze my glutes, squeeze your glutes, okay? Keeping my chin tucked. Now, I'm gonna open up my hands slightly, okay? So it's almost as if that little crease, you know, from your thumb and your first finger are going to be a little bit open and pointing forward, okay? Fingertips are gonna also be open. You're gonna come down, squeeze everything, make sure, and notice here, my elbows are not flaring out and they're not too close to the side of my body. Again, it's specific to what muscles we're wanting to work, but this is the correct way for this movement. You're gonna come down, about to your nose, and come right back up, pushing away. Down and up, pushing away. And that is your first set. All right, so we have time under tension, typewriter push-ups. So with these push-ups, it's gonna be very, very important. I'm just gonna demonstrate them on my knees. You can also do them off of your knees. It's pretty difficult either way, okay? So what you're gonna do is first of all, make sure your hands are pointed outward, not fully outward. That's not what we're, we're aiming for. It's about, I would say 45 to 60 to even 70 degrees of turning as so. This is called external rotation of our shoulder joints, okay? So in this position, we're gonna squeeze our glutes, squeeze our abs in, and we're gonna come down, keeping our chin suspended. Come down here, all right? Now, notice how if I try and go left to right, I don't have a lot of range of motion here. So, if you're a beginner, you're gonna stay in that positioning. If you're a little bit more advanced, you're gonna go super, super wide here, all right? You're gonna come down and you're going to transfer all the way to a straight arm. <laughs> to a straight arm each side, all right? <sighs> Those are brutal. And then we're gonna move straight into kickups and handstands. Now, Key here, as I go into these kickups in the headstand, I'm gonna go all the way up, all right? You wanna be in a strong position starting off. So I always tell people, whenever you're trying to do any type of a handstand, first, start off very simple. Don't go too hard trying to kick all the way up and then you fall over. Learn how to fall first and then keep on making it a little bit more difficult. So I usually like to start off just like this. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, now notice how my hands are just outside of shoulder width apart, and I'm not fully kicking all the way up and falling over or anything. Now, when you get more advanced, what you are gonna wanna be doing is learning how to fall over, all right? So, generally, whenever I teach anyone, I say kick up and then go to the side as so. So, you're gonna kick up 
and then one foot is essentially going to land on the side and that's how you know you're kind of letting yourself go. Once you get that point down, then you're gonna move up to falling over to the side and getting used to falling out of the handstand at a higher positioning. So you're gonna be here and then out and then back here. Boom, okay? Now I actually hurt my ribs so it's kind of difficult for me to do this but you're gonna be here and then out, pushing out to the side. Generally if my ribs aren't hurt, I'm just pushing to the side and landing and resetting. But with these kickups, what I want you to essentially do is making sure that you're pushing away from the ground as much as possible. So you're gonna be here, pushing away from the ground and right back down, okay? So here, pushing away from the ground and right back down. One more time, pushing away from the ground and right back down and boom, that is your superset. All right, so we have assisted handstand push-ups using the platform into drop push-ups. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of drop squats. It's very, very similar. Okay, so with these movements here, I just wanna make sure that your hands are just outside shoulder width apart and you're really, really focusing on keeping your core tight for both movements. It's extremely, extremely important, especially if you're trying to target the right muscles, okay? So with these platform movements, again, like I said, it's about 32 inches, or I should, no, that's not 32 inches, is it? No, that's like 24 or a little bit less, 18 inches, a little bit, whatever it is, um, not too high unless you're getting a lot more advanced and you wanna put a lot more strain on those shoulders or work your shoulders a lot more, okay? So with this movement, your hands are gonna be outside of shoulder width apart. You're gonna notice I'm sinking into my couch. That's completely fine. Or I'll just move a little bit towards the edge of it so I have something better to stabilize on. You can bend your knees if you would like slightly, but the main thing here is not being here. You want to squeeze those abs. Notice how I'm like here. I'm squeezing those abs here, okay? And I'm going to the top of I feel like I have, I have hair on me. Uh, I'm going to the top of my head, not to the bottom. All right, so here, tucking your chin in and coming down, and then right back up. Down, right back up, down. And look how I'm not coming up here, I'm coming here, back in that position, okay? So that is your assisted handstand push-up. Then we're gonna move straight into the drop push-ups. Now, we're gonna be facing the couch here, okay? We're gonna start here, and I'm gonna show you this in a position with my knees on the ground just so you can get a better idea for it if you're a beginner. So you're gonna be in a position where you're almost, you're not over the couch, but you're more so allowing your, your shoulder to uh, flex a little bit more so that you're stabilizing here. When you come down, you have a lot of room and you're not hitting your head on the couch. So quick, squeeze everything in, push your scaps away from each other, okay? Now, you're going to bend your knees, Jump and then pause here, okay? So, watch very, very closely. This is a difficult exercise to follow. So you're gonna be here, explode off, and pause here. All right, so you're allowing yourself to drop and then stabilizing that last second. One more time, let me show you again here. So you're gonna drop, boom, stabilizing. It's a great exercise, great superset. All right, we're gonna do it. assisted handstand push-ups, no platform. Now these are going to be half reps because we wanna keep a lot of the strain on our shoulders the whole duration. It's, it's kind of like a time under tension, but just with like more quick and controlled movements here. So we're gonna be hands just outside the shoulder with the part. Your feet are gonna be into the ground, balls of your feet, okay? You can push your butt back as much as possible if you'd like. Now, what I want you to do is instead of going all the way to the top of your head, I want you to extend your head slightly and go more to your nose, okay? It's going to change the amount of uh, working muscles that are available here. Okay, so I don't even know if that even made any sense. <laughs> so we're gonna come down, okay, in this position here, but we're gonna come halfway up, halfway up. Notice how it's halfway, I'm keeping the strain on my shoulders. It's not on my chest much at all, just slightly upper chest and that is uh, half of your superset. We're moving straight over to tricep extensions here on the countertop. Now with these, I just wanna make sure that you are not making the same mistake that I made for so many years, and that is trying to come to your chin or too high up and extending that neck. We want you to be all the way out, fully extended away from the ground. Your, your heels are not supposed to be on the ground. Okay, it's gonna be on the balls of your feet. You could bend your knees if you would like, so you get a little bit more depth um, so you can get a little bit uh, lower when you are coming down to the countertop. But all you're gonna do is tuck your chin in, okay? Now almost feel like you're trying to go from your elbows to that countertop. Watch very, very closely. I'm going to externally rotate as much as possible. Keep everything tight. I'm coming down, 
all the way and then all the way back up for a full extension. Really trying to extend that elbow joint at the top and all the way up. I'm telling you, this movement and this superset works. All right, so I'm gonna be doing this last set, as many reps as possible. Now there's two sets of this last movement that you're gonna be completing, so make sure you are working as hard as you can, but right when you feel like your technique is dropping, you bail out, you relax, and you go to that next set. Generally, you want four to five minutes between sets so that you can get maximal exertion for each of them and you really recover properly, all right? So I'm gonna be on my knees. You can be on your feet, absolutely, if you're more advanced and pushing away from the ground, but making sure that your abs are tight, you're pushing away from the ground here, okay? You're gonna be doing chest tap push-ups. So you're gonna come down here and just tapping your chest, Ch tapping your chest, tapping your chest, and doing as many reps as possible. This is gonna be tough. Again, don't try and be this ego guy or girl that's, ah, I just have to get more, I have to do more, I have to do the most advanced. Just do the movement properly and you will feel and see even more results uh, in the end. So that is your last set. All right, so there you have it. That is your 30 for 30 workout for the day. I'd love to hear your feedback. Send me a message on Instagram at the B Myers. Also, if you want to pick up any nutritional products, we have our new pre-workouts that are coming very, very soon. Also, our mood product, which is for a lot of stress. I'm gonna be taking it personally. I absolutely love it. I also take the low stem pre-workout and the high stem pre-workout when I'm really trying to PR. Uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying this series. I feel like when, when you can just keep yourself moving, but also increase intensity and increase resistance and everything with bodyweight training, you, your, your perception on developing your, your muscles and your body and also your mind grows, like it's, it expands. Like there's so much more that you can do and functionality is so fun to me. I feel like for the longest time, people just neglected functionality. They're like, oh yeah, whatever, you don't really need it. I just wanna build a big body. But what's a big body if you can't can't even, if you fall off a cliff and you're hanging on, you can't even climb to get outside of that and live for the rest of your life. So I know it's a funny example, but seriously, you know, take this body weight training and functionality a little bit more seriously and see how it translates into the gym. See how it translates to everything that you want to accomplish, whether that's sporting events, whether that's hobbies, it could be, what the heck, it could be something about like mountain, mountain biking or, or whatever it is. It all assists because of your functionality, your core work, and watch how things kind of transform. So hopefully you enjoyed this workout. We're going to be back tomorrow. I'm super excited for tomorrow's workout as well. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn those post notifications on. Comment down below. Follow me on Instagram. Follow Create You Instagram and I'll see you next time. Peace.